This is Jones McFly, and the Yankees did a couple of things already. Uh, the Yankees actually signed Marcus Stroman to a two-year, $37 million deal with a option for a third year. Now, how do I feel about this? Obviously, if you sign Marcus Stroman onto the team, he's 93 percentile in ground ball rates, and that, that's really good at Yankee Stadium. I, I like that. Those are positives. His innings pitched for the whole entire year are not positives, however. He has not been able to do that. And he did kind of like give it up down the stretch. I think he had a six plus ERA down the stretch last year. So what do I think about this Marcus Stroman signing? I think it's great if Marcus Stroman is your five pitcher, right? Your four or five pitcher. I think it's great. However, if he's where he's slated at right now, because the projection is for him to be the number three starter right now in the rotation. I do not like it. I think the Yankees need to do more. And for you to trade for, in a year where you just traded for Juan Soto, an all-in kind of move, and this is your starting rotation, uh, you need to do better. That's just what it is. Need to do better. If you have Stroman there, fine. I get it. But Nestor has injury scares that you just... They just do. Also, what's going to happen with Rodon? You know, he's had his injury history, which the Yankees signed him to anyway, but he has his injury stuff, and he wasn't effective that effective last year. Garrett Cole is there for sure, and that's the safety net. But, you know, it's pitching, and then anything can happen. I'm afraid that if something happens at the top of the rotation, that now Marcus Stroman is forced to be a top of the rotation type starter, which he's not. I don't like that at all. I think it doesn't provide any, yeah, granted the Yankees traded away a lot of their depth to be able to acquire a guy like Juan Soto. So you do that every single time of the week. But the way that they've been going about the rest of the off season has been a little laissez fair. Now I, I know that they try to get, they try to go ahead and get Yamamoto and it did not work out. I get that, did not work out. And hopefully, you know, he pitches well where he decided to go. But I'm thinking about it right now, man. There's a two-time Cy Young Award winner out there and Blake Snell, a guy who's got personality, a guy who knows how to pitch. Granted, his issue was, I guess, walks and getting into long counts, which led into shorter outings for him. Uh, but he's a guy that knows how to win. Um, last year, he went 14 and nine with a 2.25 ERA in 180 innings. Obviously the Yankees are interested in this guy and they're interested in him to the point that they felt that he was good enough for them to offer a contract to. Now, apparently there's rumored contracts out there. They did offer him a contract that was confirmed uh, by John Heyman, as well as other sources. But it does look like Blake Snell de ended up declining it. I think they were offering something in the neighborhood of five years at 30 million per. And he wanted more, you know, he wanted more. And the Yankees weren't willing to budge. And now, J like I, I spoke to Jimmy, John Boy, and he was actually saying he had a theory where it's like, oh, the Yankees leaked the whole Blake Snell thing just to s then sign Strowman and say his, his prices were too high. Uh, for Snell. Now, Snell and Strowman are not in the same stratosphere, uh, the same amount of pitcher. I just don't think so. I think the Yankees still need to get better. I don't know if it's via trade or if they're going to go ahead and sign Blake Snell. So I think these are the options. These are the options that we're going to talk about real quick before I get into the other news for the Yanks. The options for the Yanks are these. You must get another starting pitcher other than Strowman. But knowing the Yanks, they probably feel like, yeah, this is it, man. We made our deal, dog. <laughs> yeah, this is our deal, dog. I do think that they need to acquire somebody. If you can acquire a Bieber via trade, which I think he's available in all honesty. If you can acquire Dylan Cease from, from the White Sox, which would cost a pretty penny uh, in way of prospects. If you can acquire some of the other pitchers are out there, whether, I don't know if Lazardo moves the needle for you or you know some of these other pictures that you can acquire via trade or you just sign blake snow i just don't know i just don't know what to go with at this point in time if i had to rank the five pitchers now that i think that the yankees should go out and get these are the five that i think number five is lozardo we saw we spoke about him earlier but lozardo is definitely the guy at number five number four it'll be monty He's the guy that you know that could be able to pitch in New York, but at this point, he's not like a top of the rotation kind of starter. And the money that he's going to command, is that going to hold you back from acquiring better starting pitching later on? Probably, right? What's Monty's ceiling 
anyway like what's what's the what, what's the best version of monty that you're gonna get and then if you don't think that this kind of money warrants that then i probably would say you would probably go for the number three spot which is trading for shane bieber now he pitches Cy young i don't know why there's something about bieber that makes me feel like he's like a yankee like there's a lot there's you know he's kind of to himself i think maybe he would get along with cole really well he's a guy that knows how to pitch very well as well and knows how to pitch at the top of a rotation i like bieber i like bieber a lot so that is my third guy at number two would be blake snell you got blake snell two-time Cy young award winner well, I was worried about the walks and the control and things like that. I think that if you couple him with Matt Blake, I think there could be something special there. Also, he has some personality. He's Judge's friend um, and left-handed pitchers at Yankee Stadium I always favor. At number one would be the Yankees acquiring Corbin Burns. If you're able to do that from the Brewers, you can get the Cy Young Award winner and try to bring him on uh, to couple him one, two with, with Garrett Cole. And those are my five. That's who I think that the Yankees should probably try to target. Now, would the Yankees have the necessary prospects that these teams would like? I don't know. They've already dealt a lot just to get Soto. And that's those are my thoughts on that. Now, Soto, because we just talked about Soto, Yankees agreed to arbitration with Soto at $31 million, a record. He beat Shohei Otani which his record was set at $30 million. You know, that's good. I'm glad that anytime that you can avoid arbitration, that is a good thing, okay? That is a great thing whenever you can avoid arbitration. Verdugo, Yankees were able to reach an arbitration number with him. He's at 8.7 million. Gleyber Torres at 14.2 million. Clay Holmes is at 6 million. Uh, Nesta Cortez, 3.95 million. Jonathan Loisa got 2.5 million, Trevino 2.73 million, Trent Grisham 5.5, Clark Schmidt 2, about 2 million, and Victor Gonzalez 860k. There was a report from Mike Rodriguez that says that the Yankee, that with a source that's familiar to the situation, this is talking about Blake Snell, uh, that the Yankee offer was 30 million dollars a year, five-year deal at 150 total money, but Snell rejected it because he wanted more money or wanted one more year. The Yankees apparently said no to one more year and decided to sign Stroman. I, I said it earlier, Luke Weaver signed with the Yanks at $2 million. Uh, pending physical, he could be with incentives and things like that. He could max out at $8.25 million. Guys, I'm, I honestly don't know. I don't know how this is the Yankees' big free agent signing at pitcher. If it is, we're living. Okay? If it is, we're living. If Strowman is the, the, the big rotation get for this team, okay, then we're living. Because what are we doing? This is like the only money the Yankees spent so far this year. Strowman. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I know some people are like, yeah, man, you, you like the deal. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. I'm like, dude, do you like understand? Like, the Yankees are kind of in trouble pitching wise next year, man. If one person gets hurt, like, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? Who else are you going to have there? If one person, which is inevitable, inevitable, one person gets hurt, then what? Then what? Who's pitching after that? Will Warren, I don't know if Will Warren's ready yet. Luis Hill's coming off of an injury. Tommy John surgery. Come on now. Yankees better not be done, man. Yankees better not be done. That's all I have to say. Yankees better not be done. Thank you. Let me know. Do you guys like this deal or not? Uh, what do you guys think about all of the news and all of that stuff? And I don't know. I'm not excited about it until if the Yankees add something else, then I'm excited about it. It's fine. But right now, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. See you.